Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to share some tips for the pivot table field list and what to do if it disappeared on you. So this is the pivot table field list over here on the right side, and it, typically it appears when you select any cell inside the pivot table. Now, if it's disappeared on you, that probably happened uh, because you accidentally clicked this close button up here in the right corner of the field list. Clicking that button will make it disappear. When you select outside of the pivot table and select back in there, you won't see the field list reappear. So there's a few ways to get it to come back. Uh, basically, the first thing I want to do is select any cell inside the pivot table here. Then you'll go up to this pivot table tools contextual tab, and we're going to select the analyze or the options tab in the ribbon. In Excel 2010 and earlier, this says options right here. 2013 and beyond, it says analyze. And then we're looking for the show section, and you'll see this field list button right here. Now this is a toggle button, and you can see it's currently off. If we click that button, that will turn the field list on and re-enable it. So that means that now when we select outside the pivot table, it will disappear. And then when we select back inside the pivot table, it will reappear. And basically this close button right here, it's very easy to accidentally hit this. And when you do that, that will basically disable the field list button up here. You can see it's now toggled off. The other way to get the field list back is probably the quicker way is if you just right click on any cell inside the pivot table here, and then you can select show field list from the drop down menu. So I'll just click that and that will basically toggle the field list back on and make it visible right here. Now, another quick tip for the field list is you can also move it around. So if you uh, basically put your mouse cursor at the top of the field list, you'll see those cross hairs, then you can left click and hold it and actually move it around the application window here. You can also move it outside of the application window as well. And then to get it back on the right side, just double click the header, double left click here, and that will dock it over on the right side. Now the pivot table field list will always disappear when you select a cell outside of the pivot table. That's just the built-in behavior of the field list. If you want to work with your pivot table while you're viewing the source data and still see this field list, you can actually use my pivot pal add-in to do that. It has a feature that allows you to do that. So I'll just open the pivot pal add-in window here and you can see it looks very similar to the field list. A lot of the same features that allow you to build out a pivot table. It also has a lot of automated features built into it that make it much faster to build out your pivot table. And one of those features is this go to data button. So if I click this button here, that will actually take me to the source data sheet or the sheet that contains the source data for this pivot table and allow me to build out my pivot table from this sheet. So it's a great feature. It makes it a lot faster if you don't necessarily remember the field names of your uh, field list or of your data. You can actually just select cells here inside the data sheet. That will select that field in the field list for you here. So if we wanted to add, let's say we wanted to add this color field to the uh, pivot table. I'm just going to select a cell there that will automatically select it in my field list. And then I'm just going to click the columns button to add that to the columns area of my pivot table. I'll click the go to pivot button to go back and view my pivot table. And you can see that the color field has been added right there in the columns area. So check out pivot pal if you want to use some of these advanced features and make it a little easier on you for building out pivot tables. Again, that was some quick tips for working with the field list and getting it to reappear if it disappears. If you have any questions, about this video, please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.